Okay, so quick tutorial on how to make this composition a bit better here. Let's just see what layers we have. Okay. All right, first let's uh, adjust the composition itself. We want to make these people centered. Let's make them a bit bigger too. Now, this girl, where are we going to put her? Let's put her a little smaller and kind of up here. That hand's a bit weird, but whatever. Okay. Then, let's take this girl and just center her up a bit and make her a bit smaller. And let's clean up this selection around her. I'm just going to hold down command and click on the layer and I'm going to add a new mask to it. And then I'm going to go to the mask, go to properties and go to select and mask, turn on the smart radius just increase that to three pixels. That's going to get rid of most of our nasty edge there. Let's hit OK on that. And then kind of this background. I don't know what that writing is, but probably shouldn't be there. Let's get rid of that. So I'm going to go on that layer, hit Q for quick mask, go on my gradient tool, which is G. Just select the top there, hit Q again, invert my selection, and let's just gauge and blur that. Just until we get rid of the writing there. And his selection isn't great either. And unfortunately, I don't have any layer there, but let's at least clean it up a bit. Yeah, there's not much I can do about that, unfortunately. But you can see how gnarly it is. Um, in the future, if you're going to make a selection, always use Select and Mask before. And use masks. Don't actually cut out your objects. You should be using masks. That way you can go and clean up the mask after the fact. OK, so now I'm going to put one layer on top of everything, make it black and white. Then I'm going to. Just add some layers here to kind of separate these elements out. Now it would be nice if she had a surface that she was on, um, but I'm not going to add any more layers to this right now. So let's just work with what we have. Let's do something like that. And let's take the opacity on this girl down. Put her into the background a bit. Good. Take that down just a bit so we have some of that color coming through. We do need her on some kind of a surface. And also let's add a little glow behind her. So I'm going to go radial, something like that, add a mask. Good. 
Now let's add a gradient map on top of everything. Do something like that. Let's put this on soft light. Good. Let's take the opacity down on that just a bit. Then let's add a color balance. Go to highlights, add some yellow. Go to shadows, add some cyan and some blue. And that's starting to look a bit better. Let's also add a curves layer. Go to the blue channel and just pick up the bottom there. Now you can change these gradient maps obviously if you want a different color. So we could make this more cyan blue. Maybe this a little bit yellower. That. And let's give her a shadow too. So I'm going to hold down Command and actually select her mask. Fill that with black, which is Option Delete. And then let's just and drag this out. I want to keep the foot in the right place as much as I can. So let's move that back to there and that to there. Like so. Something along those lines. Let's just erase this a little bit here. Something like that. Still don't like this pink in here. Don't feel like it's doing us any favors. So let's just go ahead and black and white that. That actually looks better. But let's give it a kind of a bluish tint. Yeah, in fact, actually, let's put this here. I think it'll help. Having these guys have a blue tint as well. Like that. It's better about that one. And then we can do quick mask gradient. Let's just make her a little bit warmer to bring her to the foreground a bit more. Good. Now let's just try to give the whole thing a little more texture back here. And I would normally do this with other images, but because I want to just show you what I what we can do without adding anything let's just do some difference clouds and let's put that like oops didn't want to do it on that layer let's make a new layer and do difference clouds yeah needs to be filled in there you go 
All right, and let's put that on soft light, which is shift option F. Take the opacity down just a bit. Just to break up that background a bit. And that like that. Just mask the top of that off. Good. And let's also add some noise to try to make all these look a little bit more like they belong together. So I'm just going to fill the layer with gray here. Go to filter, noise, add noise, put it on monochromic Gaussian. It doesn't have to be much. Let's do like nine. Put that on soft light as well. And we can take the opacity down just a bit. And finally, let's merge everything. Shift, Option, Command, E. And let's go to Filter, Camera Raw. And increase the exposure a bit, the contrast a bit, and the clarity a bit. Let's go to the Effects tab. Just add a little bit of vignetting. Okay, and there you go. So that's your five or 10 minute fix to make this a little bit better.